Welcome back, and, and thank you. Although we may be nearing the end of lockup, we're not quite out of the woods. Restaurants aren't open, forget movie theaters, and your doctor and dentist are hopelessly backlogged. Given the many weeks or months that it could take to see a medical professional, I'd like to give you the inspiration you need to solve some common medical problems at home with common household implements readily available in your kitchen and garage. Today, I will guide you through a dental procedure that you can perform should a spouse or child be suffering from a toothache. A further episode will guide you through the nuances of psychiatry, which is increasingly needed given prolonged exposure to spouses and children. Our third episode will take you into the world of do-it-yourself surgery. Not only is it possible with implements found at home, but it may be necessary if you wish to avoid hospitals and clinics. So watch this channel over the weeks ahead to learn some valuable new skills and who knows, perhaps develop a new lucrative career in medicine. Today, let's start with dental work you can and should do at home. Why pay hefty co-pays when you can easily solve most problems with just a few implements from your kitchen and toolbox? To demonstrate a typical procedure, I will take advantage of my lab assistant, Lulu, who has been complaining about a toothache the last few days. Let's go to the Dr. Dane dining room table where Lulu awaits us. Okay. We're, uh, we're here in the, um, in, the, in the makeshift dental lab. This is actually uh, my dining room table, but I think, Lulu, are you, are you comfortable here? Yes, I guess so. Good. Um, now, I, I would like to say, before we begin, it's very important to get everything set up before the patient sits down. You don't want them seeing various apparatus. Uh, I have some of the tools laid out over here that are, are fairly common that you can find most in your toolbox and then some things over here. Note that it's important to put some things behind the patient's head that you know might cause them a little anxiety if they saw them in advance. One of the most important things I can teach you is proper bedside manner. Now your family member is probably a little anxious having a, a dental procedure performed on the dining room table but um, we can just let them know everything's going to be okay, Lulu. Are you are you fine? Do you have any anxiety? Are you are you comfortable? Yeah, I'm comfortable, but I I can't feel my legs. Okay. Um, then proper precautions must be taken. Uh, PPE. I'm going to give Lulu this nice little blue towel and put the shop back right there. And Lulu, would you prefer glasses? Give them a choice: glasses or a blindfold. Yeah, I think Please. the blindfold is, is actually a much better choice. Let's put the blindfold on. Ah, slips right on like that. I got this at the United Airlines. There we go. Okay, now, protection for me is also important. I have this and I have this, but it's, it's hard to actually hear uh, with these on, so I'll just keep them like this, but I'll be, I'll, I'll be ready to deploy them should I need them. So. First thing we're going to do is a little exploratory work. Now, Lulu, oh, Lulu, where uh, where did you say the problem was? Was it on the right or the left? It's on my right side, in the back. Okay, let's let's take a look. Let's put this there and Ow! there. Can you feel that? Oh, oh yes, I can. Oh, not that side. Oh, the other right. Okay. How about right there? Ah! You, does that hurt? What do you think, does? Moron? Okay. I think we know where the problem is. I think it's time to dig around. Now these are just common utensils. So, take any vacations lately, Lulu? What the? F I haven't been anywhere in months. See, Lulu, can you see that? Hell no. You, oh, she has the blindfold on. Never, never mind, Lulu. Okay, let me see if I can find. I think we need a little more cleanup. Oh. Oh. Mop things up a little in here. Good. Okay, Lulu. Um, I think I need to give you some Novocaine. So um, sit right there. I'll give you a little Novocaine, and we'll we'll take a minute. Where the hell am I supposed to go? For it to, I can't to work. Feel my legs. 
Now, I don't have any Novocaine or even cocaine, but the placebo effect is very strong. It should help her. Okay. Good. Now let's give it a, a few seconds for that to, to, to take effect. Okay, time to do a little bit more drilling here. Oh yeah, okay. Now we're talking. Yep. Okay. Now how's that? Lulu? Oh! Lulu! I see the problem, Lulu. You can't find more. I think we're we're ready to solve this. Let me let me just Yeah. Uh, I got it. I knew this was gonna be a problem, Lulu. Can can, can you see that? Can, can we get a close-up? Your gold tooth. This gold tooth has been I just don't think it was a good idea. On the other hand, the good thing is um, at least you don't have to pay me for this because I can just hawk this now. Okay, we're almost finished, Lulu. Uh, I'd just like to do a little bit of um, cleanup. This is kind of free. We'll just do a little brushing. Yeah, that's good. Should really do more flossing, Lulu. And then some stubborn stains, the old drill. I think uh, everyone has one of these. These are great for problem stains. Yeah. Okay. I think we're done. Now, Bedside Manor is important. Lulu, thanks for bearing with us. I'd like you to have this toothbrush, too. This is a uh, toothbrush. I'll just leave it right here for you. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's it from the Dr. Dane dining room table. I hope you can see how simple a procedure like this can be. And Lulu definitely has no toothache now, do you, Lulu? You know, it's like a son no. of a bitch! Okay, well... Give it time. I'm sure the Novocaine uh, will, will help. Anyway, tune in about a week for uh, another episode uh, in the uh, Do Your Own Medical Work where we're going to examine psychiatry and see how we can help in these difficult times. Okay, Lulu, maybe need a little bit more cleanup work here.